Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. I am feeling strong and well and that's good because I've got all these uh, stairs to do. In this vlog we're going to talk about my boots. Well I made it. <laughs> so yes my boots. The Berghaus GTX Superlite 2. They are the boots I've been wearing for about, uh, about two years now. Lots of uh, midges about and the mayflies, <laughs> maybe. Uh, so yes, these, uh, these boots were actually a gift from my parents, thank you. And uh, they got them me for when I was uh, preparing to do the coast to coast. That was before the pandemic and the pandemic got in the way of that. And uh, do you know what? I would have failed. I already know that I would have failed that 200 miler. I didn't know enough. I know a little bit more now after, uh, after doing the West Highland Way and uh, a fair few more shorter hikes and wild camps so i definitely would have failed the uh, coast to coast but i will be doing it you will be seeing me do that well at least attempt it on this channel but that's a lot later i've still got a few other uh, challenges smaller challenges to do before that so i think over the two years plus that i have owned these boots I must have easily done 2,500 miles, something in that region. So I just want to have a chat with you about how I'm feeling about these boots. And I've got to say, when I first saw them, sitting there with my parents looking in the box, I thought to myself, these would not be the boots that I would have chosen. Um, they just looked so, uh, well, they kind of looked old fashioned. They do look old fashioned. Let's have a look. I think, I think the word is traditional. So I thought to myself, these aren't gonna be the boots for me. So I of course looked them up. I'd never heard of them. I looked them up and they got great reviews. And uh, when I put them on for the first time, they felt great, really comfortable, straight out of the box. So they are definitely a modern take on a classic British walking boot. And one of the key differences between the old style British walking boot uh, and these is that straight out of the box you can put these on the leather is so supple that you don't have to break them in you pretty much just uh, set off so we do have some water down here i'll be making my way down to it and we will be testing out the berghaus gtx Superlight mark ii these boots that i've had for over two years 2500 miles over and uh, we'll be testing them out down in the water down there see just how waterproof they still are or are not, I'm willing to risk it. So we've got down to the water, nice little waterfall here. And uh, I stood in the water for quite a while, not knowing whether the water was gonna come through. These boots are quite old now. I will show you the sole. I think the sole is going to wear through before the upper. But uh, yes, yeah, stood in the water, submerged the boots, and uh, I could feel the cold of the water coming through but not the actual water and my feet are absolutely dry. Back in 2015, Brasher and Berghaus combined forces in their footwear department to bring us boots like this. So pretty good pedigree in these uh, GTX Superlight Berghaus boots. So let's not confuse softness, flexibility with, uh, with weakness. These boots are extremely durable. Being supple and flexible is an immense strength. You ask anyone that does yoga. <laughs> oh, I remember the days when I was supple and flexible. A long time ago. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. If you're not interested in the boots, just the views. The views will do. <laughs> Get that old guy out of the shot. That's better. Yeah, so I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. So just to let you know, if you're a regular viewer or subscriber of mine, um, I have got some fantastic uh, hikes coming up and I've got one, a four-nighter with my lass and it'll be the first time I've been out hiking, stopping out, camping out with my lass since the West Highland Way. So I'm looking forward to that one and so is she. Now something that I thought was definitely a gimmick <laughs> when I looked at the specs when I first got these boots um, was memory foam. They've got memory foam in the upper, in the ankle and in the tongue. The tongue, by the way, is uh, weather sealed uh, so they are 100% waterproof as you saw earlier but yeah memory foam in the in the upper of the boot but it does actually work it uh, it 
takes on the form of your ankle and uh, when I put these boots on I definitely know that they're my boots. Now when Berghaus combined merged with the uh, Brasher in their footwear department to bring this traditional British boot up to date, bang up to date, they added the Vibram sole. Uh, Vibram XS Trek Light, I think that's what it's called and it's a fantastic sole and that gives it so much flexibility that uh, it's another reason why you don't have to break this boot in. You can just take it straight out of the box, put it on your feet and I'm looking forward to getting a new pair because the sole has worn down of course um, and I think that will go before the upper but um, I have no fear of having to wear them for six months uh, before they become supple. Another thing about this uh, Vibram XS Trek Light sole is that the tread, you can see the tread on it, it's quite spaced out and that is deliberate and that is for mud shedding. Again, I thought, yeah, right, but it actually does work. I've never had that where you've got uh, a sheet of mud underneath the boot as you've been trekking through uh, boggy areas. So it really does shed the mud. So please put in the comment section below your recommendations for boots. I will be looking at that uh, because I am due a new pair. These are not gonna last forever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll be looking at that and, uh, and it will help other people out also. But I can definitely recommend these Berghaus GTX Superlight Mark II. I could just buy another pair without even thinking about it because I can jump straight into them, no breaking in and, uh, and just start hiking. Wow, look at that, a Lancaster bomber. A Lancaster bomber just as I were finishing the vlog. Try and get it. Amazing. Just as I was finishing the vlog, Lancaster bomber coming over the dams. I think it is uh, to do with the uh, the Jubilee and uh, we do have the sort of 40s weekends here where everyone gets dressed up in the sort of wartime gear. So it'll be something to do with that. Lancaster bomber looked absolutely fantastic just there. Hope you could see it on the GoPro lens. Anyway, until the next one. Bye.